Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. In this video, we're going to be gambling 100,000 red dust and seeing how it turns out. We actually gambled about 105k, partially because 3k doesn't go into 100k as much as I want to try, um, and partially because I can't count. So we ended up gambling just over, um, but this is kind of the results of it so far. So as you can see, we've just bought everything. We ended up with four sacred yellows, six blue items, 13 ancestral yellows, four sacred uniques, and eight ancestral uniques. Now, in total, like when we talk about 100,000 red dust, it doesn't take too long to get. It's not particularly fast. Obviously, you are getting ancestral items from the mobs and, and stuff you'll be fighting. Um, but it's one of those things that it doesn't take too long to get. And only getting eight ancestral legendaries out of 100,000 or 105,000 ish uh, is not great. However, um, one thing that I did notice is that a lot of the items that I got from this were decently high item level. Um, and I'm talking like the average legendary was like 785 item level. Now, obviously, all this was done at 100. So um, there is a chance that obviously I do just naturally find higher item level things at level 100. But uh, I've noticed that actually I found out of these uh, 100,000 red dust, I found one aspect rolled well that I wanted to use, which was the Twisting Blades one rolled decently well for when I've respect. Um, I found a chest piece that rolled naturally with life, armor, damage reduction. And I found some gloves that rolled really, really well as well. So um, I'm, I actually want to redo this challenge because while we didn't get loads of ancestrals or loads of legendaries, we got some really, really well-rolled items. Now, that could just be luck. So the only way to do this properly is to do a 1 million Red Dust Gamble, and that will be coming in the future. But just as a short one, actually was quite rewarding uh, doing this. You get lots of legendaries, lots of uh, ancestral items and things like that from the mobs. I mean, you can see in the clip at the moment, I'm killing the boss. The boss just kind of falls over at this level. We've had an ancestral legendary drop on the ground. Um, we've got elite mobs literally everywhere uh, at the moment. Um, one ancestral item, two ancestral item. We're getting quite a lot of loot. And then you combine that with the fact that Seeds of Hatred seem to be gambling into these really nice items. It's actually pretty cool. And maybe PvP is a lot more worth than it looks. Uh, overall, I mean, gathering this was great fun. And I've got loads more videos I want to do around PvP. Um, so if you are interested in that, definitely throw a, a like, comment, subscribe on, on the channel and the video. Um, we had some really, really cool fights, some successful ganks, some not so successful ganks. Um, the Necromancer at the start absolutely beat me uh, in a fight. I can't knock it. I came back and we had a really, really cool like three, four minute long fight, which I ended up winning, which was really nice. Um, this rogue kind of tried to gank me and... and ran away and then i came back and got him and i finally got my altar but anyway thanks for watching guys hope you guys have enjoyed the video more coming soon and catch you later